Right, hey, we're live. We're live. Let me just check on my laptop if your stream is working. Uh, 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 uh. So, Surface Book 2. Okay, I'll just check. There may be chat enabled. There should be chat enabled. Surface Book 2, yep, seems like it's all working there. Is the chat working? Turn that sound down. Okay, first time streaming, so please bear with me. Um, yeah, you can say something and you can super chat. So any questions you want to know about this, any tests you want me to do, let me know there in the comments. Uh, if you want to follow uh, my progress with this, like doing the benchmarks and updating you on the battery and that, just uh, follow my Twitter account there. See there, that's my Twitter. And I'll be posting benchmark updates and uh, battery life updates, etc. So, if you want to ask a question, ask away. It's your chance to ask a question here. And I'll try and answer everything I can. Any questions that come along. So, let's go. So this is the 13 inch. We cannot get the 15 inch in Australia, unfortunately. I don't even think you can get it in the UK. It's US only at the moment. So I had no other choice but the 13 inch. Now this model here is, uh, <laughs> I just, <laughs> I didn't get the serial number in time there. Um, so please don't take my Mac address or serial number, whatever. Anyway, so Windows 10 Pro, whatever. It's got the i7, this one. It has the two gigabyte GTX 1050 in it. So yeah, I'm a bit disappointed it's not four gigabytes, but it is what it is. 16 gigs RAM and it has a 512 gigabyte SSD. And actually this one here, it's like 3,800 in Australia. Um, US, I think it's 2.5 or something like that. Um, also, if you compare this to say the MacBook Pro, the touch bar, exactly the same price with the same specs other than, you know, the MacBook Pros do not have the eighth generation quad cores in them and they don't have discrete graphics. So the price is insane. They are Mac prices here. Um, I have been told or read even that um, some of the reasons why they're so expensive is to not put the nose out of joint of all the other OEM partners they're aspirational devices to try and push along OEMs apparently so see what happens so there's the box front lid there beautiful sorry about seeing the delay if you've got a question you can ask me one uh, okay surface book versus XP <laughs> um, well this is only a 13 inch um, I don't know Jonathan uh, how loud do the fans get well I will tell you as soon as I find out and I'll try and um, answer all these questions as much as I can. But of course, if you want to highlight a question, you can do Super Chat. So that's the front of the box. Okay, I'll just take this out for the minute. Whoop. So you get also this in there. Um, that's just your literature, I guess. That should be the power in there. Just feeling it, it feels a bit a bit weighty there obviously you've seen the back of the box nothing to see there um yeah what else do you get you might as well look in here the literature you get yeah just your normal stuff that no one reads i don't even know why i do that these days unbelievable so the, so yeah as i said the only reason i went to 13 inches because we cannot get the um 15 inch in australia otherwise I would have probably got the 16 inch, oh sorry, 15 inch would have the GTX 1060 in it. Okay, so there's your power brick. And of course it has the surface slit or whatever. So that's good. So if you, you know, accidentally yank out your cord, it's not gonna damage your laptop there. Um, not much else to see here. The first thing I wanna test is the SSD speeds because the surface, Laptop, the SSD speeds are just so slow 
like slower than SATA SSD. So, okay. Actually, it doesn't feel that much heavier than the MacBook here. It is a bit heavier, but um, it's not that much heavier. Um, see what else, any questions here? What do we got? How loud are the fans yet? Yeah, okay, is the 15 inch more expensive? Of course, yeah, the 15 inch will be more expensive. Can it be charged USB-C? I believe it can be, and I will check that out. Um, I will check that out on this live stream, if it can be charged via this USB-C here. And that's the slip there. For power, you have two USB, I think they're 3.1, I'm not 100% sure, but I think they are. And you have SD card slot, oh yes. And yeah, I don't think that bothers me that much, the old, um, what do you call it, little gap there, but yeah, and the headphone jack there as well. So, let's just have a look, um, I'll just put this aside and I'll get the power for it. And I will plug it in. Does it run, <laughs> does it run prawn? Well, yes, I assume it will run um, prawn very well. So, yeah. How about else? <laughs> That's from the Bunta from Box Hill. I'm going to ban you. I'll tell you what. He just wants it. He just wants pictures of Val. Uh, okay. All right. Power. Power to the people. Where do we have the power here? Uh, yeah. Okay. As this live stream, I have no idea where the power button is. Somebody tell me where's the power button? Only. If I have this four lane, yeah, Thunderbolt, yeah, it is disappointing. It is only USB C, um, which is very disappointing that it's not Thunderbolt. But um, yeah, what do you do? So, anyone want to tell me where the power button on this thing is? Do I need to read the manual? Is, are they kidding me? Does it have a power button? Should it just should it just power on? Somebody help me. Oh, there it is <laughs> on the top where the volume rocker is. Of course, because it's a tablet, it does separate and the power button is up there. Duh. Anyway, um, on the tablet, can it hack into Val's PC? Who's Val? Is that the girl you like? Um, Dap Dan? Is she the one you like? Check the top corner. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Jonathan. Thanks for that. I just eventually figured it out. Um, yeah, so this is my first Surface Hi, book. Hello, I'm Cortana. Cortana. And I'm here to help. Mm. A little sign in here. A touch of Wi-Fi there and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Okay. You can use your voice or the keyboard help. along the way. Oh. And if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the sound icon. I'd like you to stay quiet, if you please. Need an assistant um how's the stream is it any good just let me know in the comments there how the stream is um Cortana icon let's dig in all right let's go baby united kingdom yeah i guess no that's not really my region we're in australia come on united kingdom Right, Australia. Let's go. All I, I can see it has reflection. No, we don't want UK keyboard. We want US because that's what we use here for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, I accept that. Wank. Who's? Well, oh, Jesus. Who's? Thing is that? Let's see. Uh, All right, connect up, baby. So, so far I can feel it's 
doesn't feel that much heavier than the MacBook I've got over here. Um, I have one. No, 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 no. That's all right. Let's go. So this seems pretty quick, this setup. So any questions, what have we got here? What wattage is, how much wattage is the charger? Um, let me have a look. One oh two watts. One oh two watts it says on the charger here, so that's more than I thought, but I guess it does have a graphics card in it. Um personal use, yep. Uh what else we got here? Can you hack into Val's PC? Oh, I'm sure you've already done that, Dap Dan. Hundred percent you've done that. No, it's not that heavy, as I said before. It just doesn't feel I mean, I know it is a little bit heavier than this MacBook Pro here, but it doesn't feel that much heavier, just in the hand. So, um, offline account. Nope, I don't want to sign into your... Where's the brightness on this? I'm going to put up the brightness. So I have to use the function key to put up the brightness, which annoys me. Um, uh, now I want to see what versions of Windows it actually has too. That'll be interesting. Does it have the full creators update? Okay. It is very glossy, but I will say I've got a window open to try and get as much light in here as possible. Yeah, you might as well. Oh, you're going to take my telemetry anyway. Who me? Who's who me? Sunny. I don't know what you mean, who me. There's something on the net saying the power supply doesn't give enough juice to keep the laptop powered under full load. Well, I'll definitely explore that. Um, that is not good if that happens. Um, I'll definitely explore whether that's the case. 102 watts, it seems like enough. It's only a 13 inch and it's got a 15 watt CPU. I can't imagine why it would use more than 102 watts. So anyway, we will find out, no problems there. So how's the sound too? Sound and video quality okay on the stream here? Why are you an Apple peasant? Um, <laughs> okay, this is being sold. It's in the process of being sold. Um, yeah. Um, will I keep this? Probably not. I don't know. We'll see how good it is. It have to, would have to win me over. I'm thinking I'll probably get the next XPS 15. When that comes out if it has a gtx 1060 and just on the next xps 15 i think it will use the same processor as this because the xps 15 is 130 watts and to fit a 1060 in 130 watts you will have to use the 15 watt cpu the 45 watt will be too much power with the gtx 1060 so this has taken a long time come on right what else we got here who me supports communism because he owns an iPhone. The iPhone is the antithesis of communism. That is just capitalism. So how can I support communism if I own the iPhone? You mean I support human rights abuses maybe? I don't know. Uh, I already got the Surface Book 2 yesterday. Ah, oh, so is that what was happening with yours? Um, were you drawing too much power than your actual adapter could do so as you can see here this is full brightness and what i can see is um yeah um it's not overly massively bright um it is a reflective room in here it come with how much percent of battery 
won't tell me. Okay, come with 80% of battery there, power mode recommended. Put it on the brightest, yep, okay. And the first thing I wanna do is um, see how fast the SSD is. First, I wanna see what SSD it does have. Um, the 1060 maximum power usage is 120 watts, so technically it drains slowly. Just wondering, but I, is the um, 1060 in the Surface Book? I think it is Max Q, so I don't think it uses 120 watts. I don't think so. So, anyway, I want Crystal Disk Mask. Crystal Disk Mask. Uh. Oh, the keyboard is nice. I'll take. I'll give you that, Mark. And yeah, I want to see what SSD it has in it. Now let's have a look at um, Device Manager. Now you cannot really replace anything in this. I mean, you can take the screen off. I think it does have an M.2 SSD in there. Um, Confirmation, yes, we do have a GTX 1050 in here. And what have we got for this drive? Samsung. Oh, well, one good thing is it says Samsung. So hopefully that means fast. Um, oh, first thing you got to do is get Google. This Bing thing is friggin' insane. All right, so what do we got in the chat here? Nice going on live stream by the way we don't get the 15 in Netherlands no apparently it's US only at the moment so we'll have to see that's Sunny saying something there I did a comparison the MacBook Pro 217 pretty much the same max brightness well it is actually I mean I have brightness like I have the sun coming through the window here so this is worst conditions possible but um just looking at this here this Mac I'll put it here I don't even think it's full brightness, the Mac, at the moment. Yeah, it is. It is full brightness. Um, I don't know. That white looks brighter to me on the Mac, slightly. And it's less reflective, too. So, oh, well, Mac make a better display in terms of reflection, and it does get a tad brighter. It's not a huge deal, but um, you, you can notice it. I can notice it. But... Um, I'm never going to be using it in these conditions. Like this is the worst possible possible condition. So um, let's get that crystal disc mark. Uh, now I want to download it, of course. Standard edition. We'll have the EXE. Hey, what else? I did the comparison, same max brightness. Yeah, it's not a big deal between the two, yeah, but um, I, I'd say it is a little bit brighter. Uh, that's Crystal Disk Info. Why are they giving me this? Crystal Disk Mark. Uh, it's the one I want. Download center, oh, crystal disk mark, yes, here we go. It's right in front of me. Uh, not much wobble, yeah. Apparently it's been um, fixed where it doesn't wobble as much and a lot of people say about the Mac, they like, they like the one-handed, but you don't want that on a laptop that has touch. I'm a bit spewing that it doesn't come with a pen um, let me hold it. Yeah, it does wobble a little bit. It's not massively bad. Let's get this. Now, this is going to be one of the biggest deciding factors in whether I keep this laptop. It's because if this SSD is slow, considering you cannot replace it, um, I will not be buying it so here we go hold our breath let's 
exit any other things. Let's see. Let's go, baby. And I'll just go through the comments while it's doing that benchmark. Um, not much wobble. When do you move the laptop? Yeah, the previous model did wobble more than this, apparently. Oh, it's looking good. 1700 read. So, yeah, so it's got a good... And I think that'll be a Samsung PM961, I reckon, by the speeds of that right. So you're getting nearly 2000 right. Um, that is fantastic. I'll get a brighter. I won't do it now while it's still in the benchmark. But um, what else have we got? Hopefully 1K read and write. Yeah, it's over 1K. So it's 1794 read. Um, the write. Hopefully the write's over 1,000. We want the write. Yeah, 1K write at least. Yeah, better than the previous model, yeah, 100%. Like, this is at least ruling out one thing that could have been a deal breaker for me, and that's the SSD speeds. It had to be at least, it has to be near a 1,000 or at least over, hopefully. Um, otherwise, I won't touch it. But you cannot, it's not user upgrade. It's not user upgradable, sorry. So I'll just leave it at that. Hopefully it is. Fast enough. Um, how do you connect the VR headset? Um, I don't know. I guess you would have to connect it to an adapter, put it into the USB-C, into a HDMI maybe, or it doesn't have two HDMIs. I, I don't know. I don't even know if you can. One of those Microsoft ones you can, but I'm not sure about Oculus or Vive. shouldn't be touching this while it's doing its um, update here so benchmark so I'll another benchmark I'll test it because I want to test how much faster than this because um, Microsoft what they do is they compare it to the MacBook this um, laptop here so I will be comparing its scores um, to this MacBook and I do have some Geekbench scores here somewhere Yeah, the Geekbench scores and Geekbench, Geek, Geekbench graphics. Um, yeah, and as you see here, if you get a 13 inch with touch, 13, it's 3,799, exact same price. That's not a coincidence, that's 100%. They priced it exactly the same, so um, that's what it is. Um, anything else? I had also a benchmark for Cinebench as well. Where are you? So that's the Cinebench score of the um, MacBook Pro 13 inch, 15 watt as well. Oh, that write speed is slow. 1600 or 611. No, I don't know, man. That's always a deal breaker straight out of the box. Straight out of the box. Um, yeah. I'm going to test it again and then I'm going to run through a suite of um, a, my suite of um, benchmarks I use like a uh, fire strike I'm going to try it on PUBG play games full review I'm going to do a game <coughs> a gaming review as well but straight away it just disappointed me that those right speeds there that's not good enough on a $3,800 computer, no, I'm sorry, that's just almost a deal breaker, I'd say. It would have to be almost perfect from here for me to keep this just because of those write speeds. Um, I mean, it is faster than, it's obviously NVMe, it's faster than SATA, so I'll try it again and I'll just, um, I'll just do the read and write speeds. Um, we'll see. So, um, XPS or Surface, well, mm, there's the question. At least this does have built-in graphics. So that may make up for these slow speeds. In real world, you're not going to notice it. It's just one of those things, when you pay so much money, you don't want slow write speeds. I mean, XPS comes with twice as fast SSD. 
I mean, this does have a graphics card, so if you compare it to the XPS 13, like, this is going to kill it because it's got the graphics card. But um, I'll test that again. Uh, those write speeds are not good enough. Um, but in real world, when I video edit, if I don't see any hindrance because of that, in real world, if I don't notice any speed difference, I may keep it. So, yeah, I'm a bit of Jekyll and Hyde here. I'm, straight away it just put me on the wrong foot but it can redeem itself if like you know having a graphics card in a 13 inch laptop this small this light it's like game changing for me um you don't have to carry a 15 inch around with you i know it's only a two gigabyte 1050 but it's still super fast so just check on the chat here um let's wobble any can there i feel like a geek, you must need a USB. <laughs> XPS or Surface, yeah, that's a hard question. Well, if it's going to be using an adapter, but the pain painstaking, yeah, okay. I don't, it's not even a minimum specs for some people like Rift or anything like that. So 600 again, so, mm, okay. So I will put it through all the benchmarks fire strike i'll be doing PUBG, so make sure you subscribe um does the 15 inch have a better ssd i doubt it very much i doubt it very much i would say they'll be using the same ssds um i'll have to confirm that like i don't know but i doubt it very much what other benchmark can i do quickly i'll download geek bench let's see um <clears throat> what other any suggestions on any benchmarks I should do right now oh, I might sign into my Steam and do like a fire strike score or something like that eh? why not Steam baby hopefully my phone <laughs> battery does not run out uh, This is the 13 inch. We cannot get the um, 15 inch in Australia. I've mentioned that before. Um, <laughs> I'm going to sleep. Don't go to sleep. Um, have you tried putting surface in performance mode? Ah, that's a good idea. That is a good idea. I'll see if that makes a difference. Um, If you run now, put it in performance mode. This isn't the one I want. No, I don't want this one. Additional power settings. This is the one I want. I want to. Now this should uh, uh, support connected standby. I'll just have a look here. Staff told me the first one getting Surface Book 2 was Sydney. Haha, -ha. should the battery icon at the bottom be? Uh, let's have a look. Power mode, oh, okay. Best performance, oh, there you go. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that. So I'll put it at full performance now. You can tell how much I use a friggin' Surface. <laughs> Actually, I have a Surface free. My wife does, anyways. Uh, Steam. Okay, anything else you want me to test? You like it? I do like it. I mean, there's SSD speeds. I can't I keep on saying it, but um, you're paying nearly $4,000 Australian. For a laptop, um, yeah. All right, let's test it again. I'll, I'll just install Steam first and then I'll test it. 
Also, do you think, yes, the MacBook Pro has like 2,000, has it like nearly 3,000 right and nearly t over 2,000 reads. So, I mean, that's what it's comparing itself to. So, that's a massive difference there, you know. So, the Mac has a much faster SSD. Now, will it make any real world difference? I'm not sure, but um, I will find out because I'm going to put it through video editing tests, um, gaming tests. Maybe 3,000. Yeah, no, the Mac is 3,000 read and around 2,500 write off, off the top of my head, I think. <laughs> Shout out to Ma, WA, Troy, Adam, Danson, and Chong. Okay, massive difference. Yeah, there is a massive difference. But in real world, does it make that much of a difference? Um, I will find out in my testing. Importing stuff into Premiere and stuff like that, I'll find out. So don't you worry about that. I'll do my full performance test, gaming review. I'll do my, um, well, I can't do an upgrade review, can I? So, um, Thanks. Yeah, no worries, mate. Um, Steve, how long does it take to install? Jesus Christ. So it is in full performance mode. Um, we will see if that makes a difference with the SSD. And also, what version of Windows we got? We don't have the latest version either. So... Um, that's interesting, it doesn't ship with the latest version of Windows. Um, 1703, so no, that is not the latest version of Windows. You think it would have the full creators update? Okay. I am on the bench regarding pulling the trigger as well for a work laptop. Well, what do you do, mate? I mean, this is going to be great. In terms of 13-inch powerhouse, we're talking quad-core, we're talking graphics card discrete. It's going to be good for gaming and stuff too. I mean, it's not going to be killer, but it'll be able to play AAA titles, so that's one thing. So it's on full performance mode here. There's nothing running in the background apart from Steam, no, nothing's really else. Running in the background, we have full performance. Oh, what happened there? Okay. Full performance, best performance, there we go. Let's start with those SSD right there. Now, I will give it a chance. I will run it through everything, as I said, the video editing, uh, gaming, um, just real-world use with Photoshop and After Effects. Uh, what else? I'm not going to try 3D. Pro. I'll, I'll do some 3D benchmarks as well. But with the graphics card having a 1050, we know how that performs. Unfortunately, it's only a 2 gigabyte. For this price, it should have been a 4 gigabyte. Um, the right read speeds are fantastic, which is basically what makes an SSD feel fast. The read speeds are definitely the most important. Um, if it's, what was it? It was 600 again for the right. Okay, so it's making no difference. I will do much more extensive testing on the SSD speed. I'll try and disable some policies, see if I can get it faster, but I think that's as fast as it's going to go. In terms of SSD, um, unfortunately, and the Punta from Box Hill, Lockie, I think you're supposed to be playing Civilization. <laughs> you wish you were rich, yeah, doesn't everybody? Um, do you think it's possible for new XPS 15 to be released at the end of the year? No, I think it'll be early next year. Maybe a 1050. I do think it will have this quad core in it though, thinking that 130 watts is the max for the current XPS 15. Um, I think it will have a quad core. Uh, okay, so let's log in. Uh, I'm trying to cover it. <laughs> I'm going to sign in here. <laughs> okay.
I tell you what, the keyboard is nice. It is nice. It is very nice keyboard. Trackpad's pretty good too, actually. Very nice trackpad. Small, I mean, compared to this thing here. Um, and I downloaded Geekbench, did I? Geekbench. Okay, I'll run Geekbench. Okay, Geekbench, might as well run that first. We'll exit this. Well, see those gestures work very well. It's a very good trackpad. Very nice click to it as well. So, um, happy with that. Let's run the benchmark. There's really nothing. I'll just close these. Not that it'll make much difference, but um, we'll just leave it like that and I'll leave it. Let's go run benchmark. Let's go. Okay, so what do we got to beat here? So obviously it's going to smash this um, MacBook Pro. 15 watt parts, both of them, so it is a fair comparison. Uh, this is the 8th generation, 7th generation here. Um, but this is quad core, so it should be much faster. But it'll be interesting to see how fast the single thread is compared to um, this MacBook here. So I will just... Grab up that chat again. Where's the chat? Are you gonna get an iPhone X? Am I gonna get an iPhone X? Uh, if you wanna check out a good, I actually, uh, yeah. Hello, am I in here? Yeah, I do have an iPhone X and I just done a review on it. Trust me, if you're interested in it, look up at that review. I just dropped it yesterday. It's, I've got some interesting things to say about it. A lot of things that other people didn't say, so I'll definitely check out that review. Um, how's this? Fast enough. He tries to call my broadcast. Oh, now I'll come back on. I don't... <laughs> okay. Anyway, so this is still benchmarking. I'm going to knock you out, fast enough. I'll tell you what. legs are killing me at the moment. Now, uh, what else we got? Uh, got a 140 frame an Overwatch. Oh, that's cool. At 1200 settings. I'll be doing 1080. So, yeah, anyway, so check out that iPhone X review. Um, got a lot of interesting things to say about it. And a lot of things the other reviewers didn't say. So, and I'll just tell you here in Australia, it is hot as sack at the moment. <coughs> Excuse me, and yeah, it feels like a lump of coal, hot coal in your hand, this iPhone when you watch YouTube or something like that. You dropped your phone yesterday? What? You said you dropped your iPhone X yesterday. Did it crack? When did I say that? It hasn't cracked anyway. Um, yeah, I like it. I do like the iPhone X, but... Um, does have a just check out my review you'll see what i think about it i do like it there's a lot of things to love about it and it is damn sexy too it is it is a great phone but um just check out my review and you'll find out okay so this should smash what you dropped it yesterday no i didn't drop it yesterday um you said you dropped your iPhone yesterday. No, I didn't. Okay. The moment of truth. Okay, so single core. This is faster. What the? This is making no sense here. Okay, this is saying the map is faster in every way. I don't, yeah, I don't know about that. Is this like quad core for real? What the hell's going on? Four cores, eight logical cores. Okay, so this is saying 3,800 compared to the Mac here, 4,800 and 9,866 versus 9,000. 
Now, multi cord you should smash it. So I'm going to go to Cinebench. I don't trust that. That is a load of rubbish.